Hello, what's up YouTube? Here we are, new video, just like I promised. We got four tournaments running right now. The, uh, up top is the 1K Monster Stack $5 buy-in. This is the 1K Guarantee $10 buy-in. The third one is the 5,888 Crazy 8s, $15 buy-in, and the bottom one is a $20 buy-in. It is the Freeze Out Monster Stack. We're going to be playing more after these two if we bust. Hope you enjoy it. And once again, we're going to do a like goal. We're just going to do eight again, but instead of waiting eight days, I'll make a new video in five days from now. If you guys get this to eight likes. All right, here we go. The first hand is already happening at the bottom screen. Pocket Kings. We ra He raised, we re-raised. We're thinking about bluffing this, it looks like. He's going to lead out for pot, and we're going to call. Bluff's going to get through, and he's going to lead out for half pot now. Now, I'm starting to really lean towards like a queen X here or a flush draw, but we do block the flush draw, so more likely a queen. He could have a set, but obviously if we thought he only had sets, we would fold. And now we got to think about the value bet. All in. Just stick it in. Probably had a queen, and we get a double up in the freeze out right off the bat. This should be a good one. Make sure you sub. Because this video is going to get crazy, and we're doing some bigger buy-ins this time. 20 and a 25. All right, this next hand is going to be coming out of the monster stack $5 buy-in. It is a raise under the gun and a call. If it wasn't for the call, I wouldn't have jammed. But this guy's out here raising ace eight off under the gun, so I guess we're lucky in that aspect. Another double up. Alright, another hand right off the bat in the monster stack 1k guarantee. We got ace jack off. We're gonna just min raise here. You could probably jam, but I decided to do the min raise to give myself options if people decide to jam or whatever the hell they do. We're going to flop top pair and we're going to bet. It's great. Uh, uh. So yeah, this is annoying, but... Yeah, he could have like a king of spades here. I just fold. I don't think it's worth it. I just felt like that guy has a flush way too often in that spot. Because I see people leading out with flushes a lot when they get there to try to make it look like a bluff but we got another hand now pocket queens can we get that double up back possibly we're gonna try we are gonna try and he has an ace five oh shit gg at least there's only a five dollar buy-in but now we're gonna do a 25 <clears throat> All right, we got a hand in the freeze out monster stack $20 buy-in. Pick up ace king under the gun. Blinds are still small, so I do a 3x to 240. We're going to flop literally nothing, which I don't mind checking because we can turn some pairs. We're going to bet that now for show. Get some value from worse kings. We're going to get raised. Definitely a call too strong of a hand. We're going to check. And he's going to overbet the pot. And I'm going to say that... I guess it was like a snap call at the time, but... I probably would have thought a little longer on that one. But I was there right now. At the time, it was a snap, I guess. Alright, king-queen suited. Defend from the big blind. Easy. You can 3-bet that hand, but I was playing more cautious. Raise the ace-nine suited on the 25. We're going to 3x with threes on the freeze out. Flop an ace with ace-nine and a pair of queens with king-queen. We're going to continue here for sure, but then when the flush gets there... 
All right, back to the threes. He's going to lead out on an ace, king, four, rainbow, and we're going to raise to represent the ace and the king. He's going to call. We're going to check it back. We got a lot We got a lot going on here. Just You can see what's happening. So, yeah, this one is probably a hero fold. Yeah, that's a fold. Pocket jacks to a 3x. So we're going to 3x his 3x. In pocket nines, I call because it's a small bet. Yeah, got a little crazy there. Oh, it's not done. Yeah, we're going to go for it. Looks like you could probably argue a fold there, but when they got those kind of hands... Oh, that's the guy who uh, had King Jack earlier. No wonder I went with it. We also got pocket queens now on the $10 buy-in, but we flop an ace... I've been taking this new line with the over with the over pairs when the ace comes. I check the flop, but then I'll bet the turn, especially with the front door blocker. I like this line because I don't know. I feel like you're not just getting slam dunk called by ace x always on the turn. The back door is gonna get there. We're gonna try and check it through. Hope to win this in showdown. Is it going to work? No. Even with just his bet, it's probably a fold. What was this guy going to do? Easy fold now. Easy fold. Alright, this time we got two hands. We got ace jack off in the 1k guarantee and then ace deuce suited in the $25 buy-in. We're going to flop a flush draw and we are going to bet. This guy limped in under the gun and we are two away from the money. So yeah, this is scary as fuck. But hey, we got a flush at the same time. It works at least. Now on this run out, if you're going to get value, you got to go way small here. It works though. Yeah, and right away after that, we get the ace jack suited. This one, I'm gonna show this one, but we f we are not gonna call or raise all in. This time I don't do it because it's a 100K stack raising from like under the gun. As last time, it was an under the gun limp. Next hand, we got pocket nines on the big blind and the 25. We're going to get a min raise from the button and a call. I say it's a must re raise. How much though? I go a little f over 4x. And he's going to 4 bet jam. Don't really like that. You could probably call. But we are not. Just because he could have us, you know, a drawing thin or it's a coin flip, we're probably not ahead very often there. All right, this next one, we got the pocket nines. We three bet this guy who opened. Pretty simple flop. Queen a6. Should I bet here? I decide to. I guess it helps having the nine of spades. And we're going to turn. There's going to be another spade now. And uh, we got some straight draws now. Definitely can keep betting that turn. And check that river and pray you won. We did though. We did. Now another king queen off in the crazy eights. And we flop a queen again with a flush draw again. Just like last time, got to call the flop. It doesn't get there on the turn this time. But he's going to bet again, and we're going to call again. But it gets there on the river, and we're definitely not thrilled. But neither was he, but damn, got aces again. Yeah, and also back to that first king queen hand. If the guy behind if there wasn't a guy behind me, I would have called. Getting a lot of these like trouble hands. 
Ace Jack off with this action. Could you jam? Yeah. But we're just going to fold and wait for a better spot. Another hand in the $25 buy-in. This time we have Pocket Jacks facing a raise, and this was a raise from the cutoff. The other guy just joined the table. In these spots, you have to be 3xing plus. If you're min-raising, they are always calling because you're giving them a good price. If you 3x, it's way over 3x. It's way more polar, and they're going to have a lot harder time. But you don't want them to always call. It's cool if they call sometimes, but if they're always calling, they're going to be sucking out, you know, way more often. But we're just going to keep hitting the over pairs. And just like I said, big size. We want to charge big. If you want to call, you have to pay big. All right, here we are with the next hands. Ace Jack off in the freeze out. This spot I like three betting because we're way deeper. And then Ace King, we just hit the money, less than 10 bigs, all in from this big or button. This is snap call. Even if we lose that time, we'll probably win the next couple times that happens. We still made the money. Can't complain. And we're going to take down a three bet pot in a buy in twice as big. So can't complain about that either. But we're going to play this $5 that's pretty cheap in place of that. All right, just like I was saying, big three bet with the big hands. Ace King is one of them. And we're going to definitely see bet when we hit a king. We're going to go smaller. Just because our range is way tighter. And actually, I feel like I should have bet that turn, but I guess I was pot controlling. Because, yeah, probably could have kept betting with that hand. But we still pick up a decent pot. But now to this hand. We raise pocket eights and get a call in the field, and we're going to bet... We can turn some straight and flush draws with this hand, which we will turn both of those. Now we will check. And he's going to check and don't improve, so we just check it, hoping he'll check. But he's going to bet half pot and probably, uh, probably should, uh, I don't know. It's a real close one. As you can see, I'm tanking, thinking about it, thinking... Trying to put the pieces together, and yeah, he is bluffing. Our first hand in the $5 100 man field. Pocket aces. You know what to do with that hand. We raise, and yeah, about half the field calls. So we're going to bet small on this flop because they have way more 4-5 and more 2 pairs and more sets. So yeah, not too good. Turns a deuce, it really doesn't do much. Definitely going to keep betting small because there's multiple players. But then a board pairing card, that will get rid of some 2 pairs and some uh, sets. So go for the big bet. We're going to go for that big bet. All right, and that's going to be it for part one of this tournament gameplay. Like I said in the beginning, if you made it this far, like, I will make the next part in five days. A lot more double ups and chips will be added to these stacks. You don't want to miss out. So make sure you also subscribe so you do not miss a thing.